Lumen Living presents Bedtime Thoughts with your girl, Dawn. I am so glad that God comforts us in our suffering. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. I am so glad that God gives us the grace and mercy to be able to be delivered from those things that are hindering us. And when we overcome and we triumph over those things, we are able to be a help and a guide to those who are downtrodden and cast down by these things. It's time to have these conversations, guys. The hard ones. Welcome back to another episode of Bedtime Thoughts with your girl Dawn. And I am just loving fall, okay? Just let me put that out there, okay? I just love fall. And as the season is changing over, leaves are changing color, and the air is getting a little more crisp, I can't help but think about transition and change and how we must adapt sometimes to what we're going through to the season that's here as a christian you're either in a storm coming out of a storm or about to go into one and it's important to know that god never leaves you through whatever portion of that storm you're in and if you've never been through anything then this episode is not for you but if you're in a season of suffering right now, in a season of change and transition, and you don't really know how to navigate it, this is for you. A verse of scripture comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I love this scripture because it is a reminder that we will endure this hard time, that this too shall pass, that God is not going to leave us, and that we are weeping for right now, but joy cometh in the morning. And in this season, we might be suffering, but our but our next is rejoicing. And I am just encouraged by that verse alone. Um I want to just talk about this testimony that I had um, heard earlier this week and it definitely livened me up because in a season that you're going through chaos and calamity, you don't know what to do, hearing another testimony definitely raises, you know, my spirits, picks me up. And she was talking about how she was at this job for so many years, she never got recognition for her hard work um other leaders would take credit for her work um she was told multiple times that she would never get a promotion or go anywhere in the company um so you know she she suffered for a long time in that job well some insignificant things happened and they let her go a company reached out to her that is the direct competitor of the company she was working for and they really wanted her to come on board to their company she did not um, reach out to them she did not put her resume in she did not apply they reached out to her wanting her to come there and she was like in the testimony she said this is how that scripture about God will prepare a table before my enemies and she said it came to pass and the um there was a conference coming up and the company that she worked for they had wanted her to be like you know at the conference speaking at the conference she had multiple people under her like working under her and things like that and so when this conference has all the other competitors coming to see her and her presentation 
and her old company that she used to work for was there in attendance, sitting in the audience, watching her presentation, taking notes off of her presentation, listening to her, gleaning off of her intelligence. And she said, literally, the people, the very people that told me I was never going to go anywhere or didn't give me any credit had to watch me work at this conference. And I was just so encouraged by that testimony. And I just want to send some encouragement to you. Take a few moments to just encourage you, my friend, whatever you're going through. It won't last always. Trouble's going to come. It's inevitable. It's written in the book that this is not a smooth journey. We've got some rocks and some tacks and some nails and some splinters to deal with. But God is not going to leave us through it all. Sit back. Sometimes he just wants you to sit back and suffer through it a little bit. Because he's going to take care of you. That that, that storm that you're in right now, tomorrow it's not going to be there. Later on, it's not going to be there. It's only temporary. Sit back and pray. Pray. Because when you don't know what else to do, when you run out of options, you can't fix it yourself, pray. Ask God for direction. Ask God to give you peace in this chaos, in this moment. Because when it's your time and he tells you to get up, that's what you'll do is get up. And when you get up, he's going to set a nice table before your enemies. A wonderful feast before your enemies. And you will be rejoicing in that moment. But rejoice now, for it's coming. Your season of change is coming. And I know transition isn't easy change isn't easy but god never leaves us he never forsakes us he's always with us he wants us to thrive he wants us to he wants us to last in this that's why that's why he knows he already knows how he's going to bring you out he already knows what he's going to prepare you with he already knows what's next for you just follow his lead. I hope you were encouraged by today's uh, word. I just wanted to drop a quick word on you. And it settled in my spirit as I'm going through my own storm. And it gets trying sometimes. It gets rough sometimes. But I've got to hold on. i got to hold on. And you got to too. It's time to have these conversations, guys. The hard ones. See you next time.